would like to ensure for your chance to win a copy of Infinity War, The Art of the Movie Art Book, a copy of Avengers Infinity War, Deadpool 2, or Ant-Man and the Wasp on Blu-ray, as well as some special edition posters. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero. We all know why Thanos collected the Infinity Stones, performed the snap, and wiped out half of the beans in the universe from existence. Thanos set out to balance the universe after his own people on his home planet of Titan became extinct. But Thanos did not set out to collect the Infinity Stones at first, he set out to balance the universe by himself. So, what did Thanos do before going after the Infinity Stones? When Thanos was still living on Titan, it was a very overpopulated planet with not enough resources to go around. Thanos made the recommendation that they exterminate half of the population randomly in order to save the rest of the population. Of course they said no, called him a madman, and exiled him. So after he was exiled, the planet ended up dying along with all of the people on the planet, leaving Thanos as the last Titan. Thanos feared that the rest of the universe would suffer the same fate of his home planet of Titan. So Thanos took it upon himself to save the universe by balancing it going planet by planet throughout the universe and wiping out half of the population of each planet as a way to correct the planet and bring it back into balance. The race that lived on Titan were the Eternals. The Eternals were created by the Celestials and have super godlike powers. After Thanos left Titan, he went into deep space and took control of an asteroid field from a race known as the Chitari. The Chitari swore their loyalty to Thanos, making him the leader of their army. Thanos would also later become the leader of the Outrider army as well. Thanos, with his two armies, went planet to planet and would personally wipe out half of each planet's population from existence. As Thanos went planet to planet, exterminating half of the population, he would collect children that became orphans due to the extermination. This included Gamora and Nebula. His oldest children were Corvus Glaive, Ebony Maw, Cole Obsidian, and Proxima Midnight. All were extremely and completely faithful and devoted to Thanos. The four of them would be known as the Black Order. Thanos, along with the Black Order, the Chitari, and the Outriders continued to go planet to planet, wiping out half of the populations in existence. Thanos eventually realized that there were far too many lifeforms in the universe to balance. But once he learned about the Infinity Stones, he realized that that was his way to balance and control the whole entire universe. Once Thanos learns that he could control the entire universe with all of the Infinity Stones, he makes it his life goal to collect them. He even gets some allies to help him in his quest, such as Loki and Ronan the Accuser, just to name a few. Eventually, Thanos would go on to collect all of the Infinity Stones and snap away half of the universe, which we all saw in Avengers Infinity War. So, that's what Thanos did before he collected all of the Infinity Stones. Do you think that the Avengers will somehow find a way to take back all of the Infinity Stones from Thanos in Avengers 4, or do you think they'll defeat him in some other way? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on everything relating to Marvel and Avengers 4. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.